Hello, this will be a guide on how to set up a save setup for Slay the Spire speedrunning, and let's just get right into it here. First up, you want to go to the guide section of speedrun.com for Slay the Spire. You want to go here, you want to go to this guide that's three years old for some reason, it's still up and people are still using it and getting confused by it. This is why this video exists, by the way, just to remedy this entire situation. You go here, this file, this link rather, will not actually give you the download of the files. So what you have to do is go to this video, go into the description of this video, go to the files, which are here, and then just download all of these. All right, so now that it's downloaded, you just copy over these four files and export them to a separate empty folder. I already have things from uh, like just previous save some things I've done. This should be empty for you, essentially. So now you have these four files, just check the game directory, check this is where your Slay the Spire is installed on your computer. If you don't have Steam or you're not sure where it is, well, I, if you're not using Steam, this won't work. But if you do have Steam, but not sure what it is, uh, just check your local files on your Steam app and then just find Slay the Spire wherever and then copy the link from up here and put it right in here. But other than that, all that there's left to do is run the file, run this program rather, which copies over all the files from the main Slay the Spire game and puts it here. So this will also launch the game. But what's even the point of setting both of these things up? All of this shit up, right? Well, two main things. First off is bosses. Whenever you start a new file, the bosses are always in a set order. But with file setups, you will always get the fastest bosses every run, every single time. Whatever those bosses are, you can check out my first guide video. Or check them out, I don't even remember at this point. But the main idea, you'll always get the fastest bosses. The other bosses have more HP. They have randomized uh, patterns that are slower in general. So always getting the same bosses every single run for a certain character is incredible. The other benefit of using save startup is um, keeping on the same unlocks for each character. On a new file, typically, you're gonna have no unlocks for each character. And some unlocks are good for you, like P-Box on uh, level four of Silent. But most unlocks, they don't really help you and they actually hurt you because you, uh, you're adding more relics to the pool or more cards to the pool that aren't the cards and relics you actually want to see for your character or your character strategy. So the idea is once you inevitably gain enough XP to go up to the next level and remove like that optimal files that you had, you just click this after you close the game, you replace all the files in preferences with the optimal ones and preferences saved, you reopen the game, you have an optimal setup again. Additionally, whenever you meet the Act 1 boss, you're gonna have to use this little thing over here because you're going to be fighting slime boss no matter what character, no matter what file setup, if the file setup's optimal, right? But after that, it's randomized, right? The, the boss is randomized. So you meet Act, uh, the Act 1 boss, right? You get to slime boss, you abandon the run, whatever happens after that point, you just click this. Close the game, reopen it, and the boss should be in the optimal order. But where are you even gonna get the optimal files? Where can you find them? You could make them manually, but I really, really wouldn't recommend that. So the best option, really, in my eyes, is going to this little GitHub I'll probably put in the description. I put it in the description of my guide videos as well. But this has the file unlocked for every single character, every single category, pretty much, that you would want to run for this game. And I've downloaded them all. I put this, them all in this file setup little folder here. I click on one, I can copy and paste all the files into preferences saved. Right, and now, because this is one underscore, this is linked to my second file in Slay Aspire. Whenever I open the game with this little thing here, the second file should have all of that set up perfectly. However, it can be a little inconvenient to have to close and then reopen the game just to, you know, change the files and reset the files every single time. So there is actually a little thing you can do about that. If you go to this program, not rename, sorry, go edit it and remove the last three lines, it will not open the game. It will not reopen the game whenever you run the program. What it will just do is replace the files, but surely you can't replace the files while the game is still running. Well, you can't actually, if you're on the file that's being edited. This is the file that's being edited, what I fucking named it, one underscore file, right? This is the one underscore file within preferences saved this part. This is the part with whatever file I put in, I think it was like one defect, defect any percent. That doesn't matter. The main part that does matter is that whenever you want to change the files now, 
You click on the other account that isn't being edited. You click that, click that, go back to this one and it should reset to that point. I'll make a little example real quick. Let's say I go for the first floor. Game saved, abandon run. I would have five unlock points. I would have five XP points on defect. Seven, actually. If I go here, then I run this file here, this run, run this little program. If I go back, it will be zero XP points. One thing that these files don't actually account for, these file setups, they don't account for your personal files, your settings, your inputs, whatever, right? So what I recommend you do is that you just edit them in game and they will not be changed whenever you run the program to change your files. Because the files that are being changed are pretty much only files that have to do with the unlocks of the characters and whatever the case may be, right? The XP points, the bosses, the boss order, the unlocks on every character. Those are what are being changed. That That's the only thing that's being changed. So your settings or whatever that you have in preferences, doesn't matter. I just have them in a personal files whenever I need to update my game, right? To the next version. Speaking of which, whenever you want to update your game, whenever you have to, right? I recommend you just remove everything and just do this entire process again from the beginning and it should hopefully update your game because the files of the new version are being inputted in the old version. And now the game doesn't actually get updated that much anymore and it probably won't be for a while. So you shouldn't have to worry about this for the while, but if you do, then just remove everything, put back all these files and just go back from the beginning, set up everything again. But other than that, I don't really have much else to say. If I missed anything, just comment or go into the Slayers by speedrunning server and put in the support. If you don't understand anything, I'll probably address it or someone else will address it. But yeah, other than that, I hope this is a help to anyone that wants to run this game now that has been confused by previous guides that haven't been as sufficient, especially nowadays.